Hey there, and welcome to this week's episode of Soulful Sunday. So I have reshot this video, I think this is about the third or fourth time now. Um, our minds do silly things sometimes. And my mind was telling me, it's not, that's not right, it's not perfect, it's not, oh, your hair looks silly, uh, why are you wearing that hat, that doesn't look good. Why are you wearing that t-shirt? There's a piece of lint on there. Just little things. But this is, hopefully this one gets uploaded. <laughs> Who knows? Kind of along that vein, though, is what I want to talk to you about this week. And that is grounding. And the importance of grounding ourselves, especially right now. Especially in this, this crazy, crazy world that we're living in. Grounding is when we bring ourselves back to the present moment. We center ourselves and we take ourselves out of our heads and into our hearts again. And like I say, right now, that, that really is important because we've got so much coming at us in terms of information. You know, it's we're being bombarded, as I keep saying in just about every video. We're being bombarded by statistics, by tallies, by you know, f possibilities of what the future may look like, what it won't look like, what it's, it's just, it's a heavy, heavy time in the world and there is just so much happening. A few of the things that I like to do to ground myself, I'm gonna share with you in this episode. One of the first things, and I think really, if you do nothing else, but you only do this, this is the thing that you could and should do. That's getting back out into nature. And more importantly, most importantly, just breathing in that really good, good air. Um, I live in the city and there's pollution, but still getting outside for me, taking in the vitamin D, listening to the birds, just enjoying the sun. It helps me so much. And the thing I do to kind of level it up is I'll take my shoes and socks off and I will just walk barefoot in the grass. The earth has natural negative ions and it emits natural negative ions. In our world, we, are, we take in a lot of positive ions, which helps for the, the growth of viruses and you know, inflammation and, and uh, toxicity. And by sinking our feet into the ground, into the grass, we absorb those negative ions. They counteract those positive ions. It helps to level our body back out. So as I said, if you do nothing else but take your feet and put them in the grass for 20 to 30 minutes a day, you'll probably notice a difference when it comes to sleeping. you probably notice a difference just how you see the world will change. You'll see it not through a negative lens, but through a positive lens. The other thing I've started doing um, is I'll go outside and I will meditate. My goal is to be able to uh, meditate on the ground, to sit on the ground and meditate, to really take in those, those negative ions. But for right now, I sit in my zero gravity lawn chair, flip it back, and I stare at the sky. I stare at the clouds, I stare at the blueness of the sky. And I'll listen to a guided meditation. Now when it comes to choosing a guided meditation, I always let my intuition lead me, and I'll just pull open YouTube and I'll, I'll look at it, and whatever meditation I'm drawn to, that's the one I'll do. I prefer ones that are, you know, over half an hour long because they really that allows the chatter in my mind to, to quiet a bit. Something else that you can do um, is really, it, it's simple, and that's start taking in more fruits and vegetables. Of course, we all know that this is just good for our bodies, right? Good, clean fruits and vegetables. If you can get organic, all the better. If not, that's okay. At least you're taking in some form of fruits and vegetables. I will do juicing, I will do smoothies, I will eat them just in their natural state, um, I will steam them. Whatever, whatever I feel compelled to do, you know, 
is what I do. And again, that helps to put those really good nutrients into your body. It helps, you know, we do have a very strong mind-body connection. And I think for those of us with chronic pain, with autoimmune disease, with inflammatory illnesses, we really, really are aware of how what goes on up here affects our whole body. Another thing that I have found extremely helpful over the years is gardening and just getting my hands in the soil. That really helps. There's something about working in the soil, smelling the soil, feeling the soil. Just grounds you, just takes you back to basics. Our ancestors spent a lot of time in the dirt. The last thing that I'm gonna share with you is to get in water. Yeah, physically get in to water. Again, that is huge. It helps a lot. If you can get into a large body of water like the ocean, like a lake. Right now it's summer and we have that ability <laughs> here in Canada, especially. Um, I don't live in an area where I have access to fresh water. We live by the river, but it's not very nice. For me, my daily shower has become a ritual. When I shower, I really, really get present. I have some of my best thoughts in the shower. I have some of my craziest thoughts in the shower. But by allowing that water to run over you, focus on the areas of your body where the, where the water is running, Think about those areas of your body and just think about the water, feel the water, feel the temperature, all those things. It's a really good place to practice gratitude as well, which can also ground you. I say thank you. Thank you for the shower. Thank you for the shower that allows me to do this every day. Those things really help when it comes to grounding a person. And I'm actually gonna throw in one, one last thing. Now, this might seem, for lack of a better term, a little woo-woo. Focus on your hands. Focus on your hands. Just focus on your hands. Think about how they feel, what you feel. Do you feel the heat that's being emitted from them? Do you feel the energy? Taking a deep breath. Exhale. And become aware of your hands. Feel the energy. Do you feel them tingling? You might. I really feel the heat coming from my hands. Put them about that close together. Don't hold them palm to palm and just feel that energy. Do that for a few moments. You're focusing on your hands. You're pulling your mind from wherever it was. And you're pulling it into the present. The present moment. That helps. You can focus on any body part. I sometimes will mix it up. And I'll focus on my feet. I'll focus on my ear. I'll focus wherever. I'll just pick a body part. I'll take a deep breath and focus on that spot for a few moments. Grounding, extremely, extremely important. Helps with stress, which helps lower inflammation, helps lower pain, all of those things. Hmm. Anyway, I hope this take is okay for myself. <laughs> hope my ego doesn't get in the way. And um, I'll see you all next.